Hey guys, this is Brando Guy 4 bringing you another bonus episode uh, in Legends, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In this part, I'm going to be doing the extra dungeon that was added into the color version. So you can do this as soon as you finish the third dungeon, come into the library and dash into the bookshelf, and this book will fall down. And if you read it, it will tell you, New World of Color under the Five Gravestones. Three up, four right, five up, two left, one down. Try with all your might, open a new path. Whoever is worthy receives the power of color. I wonder what the world of color is. So, it was telling us about gravestones, so I've got to go, of course, over to the graveyard. So, I'll just dash with all of my very limited speed. And move this. And come up over here. There's really no reason to explore the graveyard in the original version of this game, so it's nice that they threw a color in here. There's six there, four there, but five here. So, the first one it showed is down. The second one, I should have grabbed the boomerang before doing this. Uh, the second one here, over to the left. My way, ghosts. You have to be in just the right spot to get these. Okay, I got rid of one of them. Let's get that fairy. Okay, now they're all gone. Uh, three up. Fourth to the right, and then the fifth up, and here we have uh, two guys, one in blue, one in red. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? This guy is blue. Don't tell anyone. Do you have the powder? If not, you must go back. So they're telling you that you need magic powder to complete this dungeon. I have 38, so I'll be fine. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? If you're playing in color, you can see what color their cloth is. The fairy queen is waiting for you. So come up. Uh, there are enemies uh, hidden among the colors. Just take them out, and you'll be able to move on. In this room, uh, you need to make all of these match, so just hit those two, and you will get the compass. So, it is a full dungeon with compass and map. No real hidden item inside of it until you get to the end. You gotta have a reward for a hidden dungeon. So, in this room, it does make you bounce around. I think I just need to keep going on for now. Alright, so in here you've got uh, two enemies of different colors. You need to throw them into the properly colored hole. So just hit them once and they'll be stunned. Yeah. I can lift them up. There we go. And they'll both disappear. And you get the chest with the stone beak. Well, let's try going down now. Uh, more enemies blended in. Here. I'll open up both doors for me. Come over here. And I can hear clearly that there's a uh, key in this room. Likely in here, yes. that key on this door. In here, what a greedy fool. You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. So he will jump and stun you. Um, I believe all you have to do is ram into him with the Pegasus boots. So let's try that. Just be careful for the uh, spikes.
Yep, only two hits. He goes down. Um, I do not have a map yet. I do have a feeling that I missed it. Took both of them out, but nothing happened, so I'm going to assume that under one of these pots. how this is happening. I've never had any issue with those panels. I've actually never seen them break before. Okay, under that is, as I suspected, a switch. Oops. Here's the map. See the layout of this dungeon now. Alright. There are many uh, things to hit in this room. You can also hit them into the proper hole with the sword, as you saw with the red one there. Once they're in their proper hole, you have all the time in the world. You don't have to worry about them popping out again. Take care of all of them and get another key. So let's head back around. And let's see what's to the left this time. Hey, another room here. Actually, this is the way to the boss. Uh, so I'm going to very quickly uh, oops, make all the red blue. I'm going very quickly mambo's mambo my way back to the beginning of the dungeon because I want to explore the other side first. So here we are, back at the beginning. And there's a room directly to my, uh... Right. I did not play this dungeon well. I didn't get potion before it. So there's obviously something in the room below me. Uh, I... Can I bomb here to get in there? Yes, that works. And in here is just a bunch of rupees, so if you haven't been to the 5th dungeon yet, and you need rupees for the, uh, bow and arrow set, or you've already done that and you need, uh, rupees for the last song, uh, just come here and you'll get all the rupees you need for the foreseeable future. Um, it's going to be blinking at me for a while here, but... Hopefully, I'll find something good. So let's come up this time, just ignore them. And there's a key in this room. Here's your clue, make all the red blue. Uh, hit this one, and that one. another boss. Boo, I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. Well, we were told that we need magic powder. Try not to get shot. Hit him with magic powder. And then you can hit him with your sword after that. But, I was too low on hearts. So that was no good. I like this dungeon. Take 
way too much damage in here. But fortunately, I've already done... Fortunately, I've already done all the puzzles, so I can just work my way right back up here. Alright, here we are again. I know you're no weakling. I'm gonna guess that if you have the, uh... If you have the boomerang, it works just as well on this guy. Take him out with magic powder and sword. Get a fairy, please give me the fairy. Alright, and in here, you hear that there's another key. And I had to come over here first because it is, of course, the nightmare's key. So now, I can get through this dungeon. Um, is it fast when we go back to the beginning? I think it is. So I'll do that. While I'm going through this dungeon, I'm going to point out that if you're playing the color version, you can see the different colors of shoes that are in the game. Uh, you may have noticed that throughout the game, some split into two smaller ones and some did not. Uh, if you're playing the color version, you will see that the red ones are the ones that uh, change, and the uh, green ones are the ones that uh, are always separate. Or the green one. The green ones stay together. The red ones will split. I have a level two sword, so you can't actually see that when I fight the ones there. They break apart anyway. Okay, so this room. There we go. See if there are any parts. There's a fairy. Come on, fairy. Come on. Okay. I go through here, and you'll see that there's a uh, switch down here, and there's our nightmare door. So come up here. Blue is safe. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Uh, if I can remember what this means. Then you just have to dash into him with the Pegasus boots as many times as you can. I'm getting like a million texts, and that never happens when I'm recording. So just keep dashing in. And avoid the projectiles, of course. Yellow is caution, red is danger, take your time. I'm not going to take my time, I'm just going to dash into you again. Alright. Not terribly difficult boss. And in here, as we were told at the beginning, it's the fairy queen that was waiting for me. Welcome, thief! I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? So red will double the damage you deal. Blue will have the damage you take. If you have the level 2 sword and the red color power, you can take out most things in a single swipe of your sword. Those that you cannot, a spin attack will take care of, unless the sword actually doesn't do damage to them. Once you have the level 2 sword, I would typically pick blue, since I already have the double power and I take so many hearts because I play this game so carelessly. That is one I would choose. But, obviously if you're playing you can choose whatever you want. But I'll pick blue. And you can actually see the uh, color reflected on you. So you can always tell which one you have. And you can also, I will now take you out. So you don't have to exit the dungeon yourself. 
And if you push select on the screen, you can see uh, also the color you chose reflected there. But that's all I can do. Uh, I have shown everything in both the original and color version of Link's Awakening. So, I will see you guys next time.